What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Cody Carter, also known as Nisho691, is coming at you live once again from TwoStrongGaming.net, and today we're going to be working on a three-part tutorial for MC MMO. A lot of the people on the server have been asking me to make a guide um, to talk about the skill growth that I've had, just to show you right here. Right here, I am about 500 above the top player, and I'm just here to help anybody in any way that I can and just show you guys my techniques for grinding levels quickly and efficiently. First up, in this video, we have four of the battle mechanics. We have swords, archery, axes, and unarmed all very valuable skills and I'm here to tell you how I personally grind them as fast as I do and first up we have swords hope you're ready our first stop is swords now as far as these mechanics go these attack and battle mechanics all run in the same method and that is however much damage you do you gain that much experience. The more damage you do, the more experience you gain, and the faster your levels go up. This is how I generally get my sword, as well as sometimes archery if I'm feeling bored. But mainly this is the, the only mechanic I work on in this method is generally swords. But what I do is I come here to the nether, and I find a nice large area of land. I mean this is many 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 chunks, very very large area. So what I do is I consume a potion of strength extended, 130% attack damage, and I get whatever armor I need and just your basic whatever weapon you think will help you the most. And I travel through the nether and I start picking off zombie pigmen. You gotta be careful because they will all mob you. You know how zombie pigmen work and I just travel through the area as far as I can just destroying zombie pigmen trying to stay alive and in that method doing all the damage to all the pigmen uh, and gaining all not only the level experience but the MC MMO experience is very quick it's very efficient because you don't hardly you hardly use any materials you just use your weapon um, you use some of your armor and you use uh, that's about it just your time and some strength uh, potions of strength and that is pretty much the only thing you use you don't need you don't have to have any fancy armor if you're really careful about it you don't even have to have any you know overpowered weapons uh, I have an iron sword and in one hit one critical hit along with a potion of strength will kill a zombie pigman in one hit critical hit and a potion of strength with an iron sword so in this method it's quick it's easy and it's very efficient for you to go after zombie pigmen with this method and I also said I like to use archery when it comes to zombie pigmen uh, this is a hazardous a hazardous method if any of them see you again they will mob you and if there's multiple zombie pigmen let me tell you, you will not be able to fire your, your... Like, if I shot these guys right now, I would be killed, because there are too many. But if you are a good shot, and a good... Or a good shot... Let's get this guy out of the shot, huh? If you're a good shot, you know what you're doing, and you stay safe and stay away from the zombie pigmen, or even where I am right now is a safe zone, even if you stay in the safe zone then you should be pretty okay using your archery in the nether because now he can't hurt me but I can hurt him and it's just very efficient very quick the other way I like to do my archery is I like to find a very open oh hang on I hurry and I go and find a very large plane a very open area that has lots of space it's very dark at night and I just wait until it's nighttime and I wait until all the monsters spawn and I just fire and fire and fire and fire and fire and fire 
and if you can survive then you will gain many archery levels very quickly <clears throat> now the other two mechanics axes as well as unarmed I will show you guys right now first up we're gonna do some axes and this is the most efficient way I found of doing axes as well as unarmed combat what you do is you come into the end on the end island and you build a portal or not a portal but you build a platform just like this too high as wide as you want to get it as wide as you feel comfortable with and all you do is just you look right out at these endermen is usually a no-no but in this situation you just look at them you make them mad and that way they come right up to the portal they can't hurt you but you can hurt them and just start hacking away good thing about axes is the higher the level you get bonus damage not only to just general foes but you get bonus damage to unarmored foes you get bonus damage to armor and as well as the active ability with axes you get aoe splash damage stuff like that and it's good for taking out large groups of enemies coming at you pigmen zombies enderman anything and as far as unarmed goes just use the same method now unarmed is going to be a lot slower because you don't do as much damage i recommend either using potions of strength or potions of strength 2 just to kind of speed it up because it is really slow with unarmed but i will tell you that unarmed is a really important skill uh, as far as unarmed goes as a skill in and of itself as combat it isn't very useful but the utility of unarmed combat is really just it's invaluable it's a very important skill it lets you uh, the higher your level gets you get a disarm chance on opponents you have the ability to resist disarms and it's just a great skill overall and it definitely definitely it's definitely worth the time to beef it up and gain some levels in it and right now I, I don't have a potion of strength so this is gonna take quite a long time but it's definitely worth it in the end because the utility of the skill is just beyond measure and it's just really important so feel free to just use these methods in any way that you see fit or alter them if you see any reason to any way that suits you the best but these are just the methods that I use and they are really effective really get your levels up extremely quickly and I hope this helps if you guys need any more help if you guys have any other questions let me know that's Nisho691 at 2stronggaming.net signing off have a good day